Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, I want to show you guys my Asia server account, which is about two days and two hours old. Uh, and we're already at about 150K team power and new accounts have it absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna talk about units in a sec because I did re-roll this account, uh, but you can do you can do some pretty cra pra crazy progress as free to play uh, with this type of stuff. Now, just to show you the seven day mission here, we're on day three, but like I said, I'm about two days and two hours into the, the account. Um, and then the other thing, uh, just to show it's free to play is this one. I think that's the that's the de that's the first purchase thing, or we've got the, um, where's the other thing, Bob? That one, the mileage. So I haven't got any mileage either. So that's where we're at. Now, let's talk about the process because often people feel like they got shafted. They, uh, you know, feel like you made mistakes and sometimes you want to start fresh. I want to show you guys that if you do start fresh and you play it optimally, you can actually progress really, really fast. Um, and I'll talk about the exact strategy I used to get here on this account because it's really quite simple. It's so easy now that there's so many people who have progressed, got level 100 LR characters. You basically get carried through the entire campaign. You don't get stuck at bosses because you just take a, take a, a mercenary character from some random person and they just carry you through because they're LR level 100. It's literally that easy. It's crazy. And then you get a bunch of free UR gear. And once you get all that free UR gear, you're pretty much geared enough to go ahead and start farming stage 15 of gear farming, which is absolutely nuts to me. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's get into this account. I'll show you where we're at. So Mages, like I said, I have already been farming a ton of LR gear. That's pretty much where I've used all the stamina. So if we go here, you can see Charmy's got a fair bit of LR. Mars the same. Yami the same. And Lotus the same. Now, when I talk about units, if you want to do this, you, there are some, some unit requirements. Now, the unit requirements are Lotus, which you can get from the, uh, the you know, the reroll pool that you get. Uh, Charmy. That is one you have to have. Like, you're not doing this without Charmy. Maybe if you wait till Summer Noel banner comes out, you can get the other Charmy and you can definitely do this. That's 100% a thing. Um, but Lotus and Charmy at the moment are the two. Uh, and then the other ones you need, obviously, Mars is... Mars is a bigger difference than Yami. Yami doesn't really matter because your damage when you're entering in gear farming isn't the most important thing. It's your tanking and healing. Um, but Mars does help by teaming up with Lotus to give the speed slow. Uh, so that's a very beneficial thing. But if you don't have those two, you can always get away with uh, either Gosh or Solid as your DPS and Soul as your tank. And if you're absolutely desperate and you don't have Soul, you can even go ahead and get Seke. But, you know, you're pretty desperation if you're doing that as well. Um, but that's what we're looking at because you need to be able to farm the uh, red dungeon with your blue units. That's what you need to do. And the other thing is if you're like, okay, but how have you done so many gear farming? Because if we go over here into challenge, uh, you can see over here, and I didn't redo any stages... Uh, of the gear farming, except to cheese the first four of my, uh, you know, my pity counter thing. So I did stage 12 uh, four times to count that pity timer down and get the extra UR gear and then go into stage 15 to get the guaranteed LR. Uh, that's the only time I've cheesed it. Besides that, I've got like the 15 runs of going through it. So you take off about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 or 20 off of this. And I've done about 320 runs of the hardest difficulty so far. And then you say, okay, well, where'd you get that stamina? So the next thing is accounts now because we've got events going on it's absolutely amazing so if we go to the dice event i've already done 23 laps of this bad boy so at level i think it's eight so i've gotten 1500 stamina just from doing laps of this event in two days which is pretty nuts then we also have our uh our squad stamina, I've purchased stamina there three times. The other thing we have going on is if we jump back over here is the raid event. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that you only need to do stage four to be able to guarantee yourself the versatile mage piece. And I've already managed to do part four by basically using two teams of two units. I can clear the first side of part five, but the second side, the thing just hits too hard. I need to tank up my Charmy a little bit more, and then I'll probably be able to do that. On part four, my Charmy literally soloed the thing um, because when I did that, I actually had uh, Mars and Lotus on the first side, and then I had uh, the Yami here, and he just died. But you can do this quite easily. But what I'm trying to get to here is because I'm getting so much, so many points from that, and I know I've got excess, that gives me extra stamina. There's just so much stamina to be had along with all the missions, the level up stamina, you're just absolutely swimming in stamina. So essentially the process I used, if you guys want to do something like this, uh, is that I just followed the campaign. 
you just hard follow the campaign and take little breaks to follow the mage's path. Now I've stopped on mage's path because I didn't want to boost a character to level 90 because I knew through my gear farming, eventually I would get to level 90. I'm already at level 85 with my Charmy uh, and the others are very close behind her. So I'm going to get to that level 90 eventually. I didn't want to make that mistake again, wasting a bunch of experience potions to get something to level 90 and likewise moving forward, getting something to level 100. I'd rather just be able to have extra experience to build more units in the future. But, you know, along the way, you're just following the campaign and doing this. Now, when you're following the campaign, I don't know where else I can uh, use. I think I can in, in the memory hole, I can use support units if I do this. Uh, can we do support? Yeah, you just go over here, you go to assist pages and you'll see either friends. And if you don't have friends, it'll have recommended friends. And you literally just go ahead and take a unit that has advantage over it. And if there's no good units here, you just take a unit, you lose if you have to, and then it'll refresh the units and then you'll find one that's good. Literally, that's it. That's how I got through the entire campaign in one day. I just got carried through it by these LR uh, support mages. It's super fantastic because the thing is, once you get into the ch the final chapter or the final two chapters, chapter five and six, um, if we go, uh, wh where are we up to? Chapter six. So I think it's chapter six, maybe a bit of chapter five. They start giving you UR gear as quest rewards. And that is huge. So by the time you get into it, you've already got a few pieces of UR gear. Uh, you got some defense pieces to help your tank survive. And you got some uh, either magic attack or attack pieces to help your healer and your damage dealer to get through. Um, when you start jumping into the gear stages. And so what I did is once I finished the campaign, I wasn't done yet. I then had to go farm uh, bond stages. Now, the one I went ahead and farmed was, I think... I think it was world th uh, no it was the K it was this one here so the reason I did this because I learned this from last time I wanted to farm a bond stage that gave me the gear food so that I could get as much gear food as possible to go ahead and try and get the best gear at the start when I started farming so this was the stage that I went ahead and farmed because it was giving me 470 bond I could auto this uh, and because it's a uh, blue and red enemies and I had the blue team uh, and it's also giving me the carrots and the steak or is it the carrots and the broth uh, whatever it is but th these things are the wh whichever two of these foods it is those are what make allow you to craft gear food so that is the one I farmed once I got my characters to bond level 10 I then used potions just to bump them up to level 80 they were pretty close anyway and then once they were at level 80, I got them to LR. And once I had them LR, because I'd gone through the campaign and I had a bunch of that extra gear, I literally just went into the dungeon and I ordered through every stage until stage 15. Then I dropped back to stage 12, did the extra runs to count this down to, uh, to one. And then I went back up to 15 and got my guaranteed piece. Uh, which wouldn't you know, I think pretty sure it was another HP piece, which I always get. Uh, but then away we go. I was just farming and farming and farming. And that was the process. You don't take any time out to do anything else. You literally follow the campaign, do the mage's path, stop mage's path when you need to reach level 90 with a mage. Don't stress about it from there. Then once you finish the campaign, you go into farming your bond levels to get your mages to bond level 10. Then you make them LR and then you go back into farming gear and hopefully you have enough gear by that stage. If you don't have enough gear, I don't care what team you're using, as long as you have Charmy and Lotus in it and then you have a blue tank and a blue damage dealer, no matter what they are, you will at least you will at least be able to go in here and do uh, stage 12. I don't think there's any world in which you wouldn't be able to if you've got a full team of LRs, level 80, with that campaign gear that you get. Uh, so you should be able to do at least level 12. If not level 12, you should be able to do at least level 6 seven like there's no way you're not doing level seven by that point and you can count this down and you can get yourself some guaranteed ur drops well not guaranteed but high high rate ur drops by farming this pity and that might get you to the point where once you get those extra urs then you can jump in and maybe progress through 13 14 15 and then from there it becomes literally do events, get stamina, dump every bit of stamina into gear farming. And then when you have done your gear farming and you're out of stamina, you run over to Vanessa and you cross this, this account had terrible luck at the start. Then it got better. Uh, my first six gear crafts, I didn't, I, I got URs, not uh, LRs, but you just literally come over here to Vanessa, find your, your throwaway gears, chuck them in, and then you go ahead and you craft gear and cross your fingers that you get uh, an, an LR and that's pretty much essentially all you do is do that please be an LR there you go LR happy days we got a we got a penetration one with magic deck okay happy days do I have a penetration one already crafted for the big slot 
Do I have a penetration one or is that the other account? I think that's the other account. Oh, well, but you, you get the gist. Then you do that, okay? And then and then it's like, okay, who needs the magic attack? So it's either Lotus or Charmy. Let's have a look at Charmy's gear. So Charmy's already got one off piece, uh, so I don't want to split her up. So, so like, my, my, as you can see, because we're because we're crafting a bunch, you can see that was crafted, uh, that was crafted. Uh, those two, those ones were dropped. Uh, so let's go over here to my Lotus and check where he's at. Uh, so he's got sets, so I don't really want to break his sets because this one gives too much attack, magic attack to, to stop. Uh, this already has that, that has that. So they're all sets with one LR and one UR, and I'd rather get those extra bonuses that they provide, uh, than to drop one of them. Then like, basically that's the only one I could drop for him. So at the moment, this penetration one is going to just sit on my bench. You can see I've got a few other bench pieces here. Um, this is magic attack as well. Uh, and you can see I need to wait until I craft the matching set because I can't get them from drops. I got to craft the matching set and then away we go. Also, this account has had the best piece I've had on either of my accounts. Check that bad boy out. We got attack, magic attack, crit damage. Curious to see if we can roll the crit rate on the final one, but that one ain't too bad on the upgraded attack set. That's the best piece I've had on either of my accounts. Um, but essentially that's all you do. You go ahead, you burn all your stamina into gear farming uh, and then all your excess, you just come over to Vanessa and you craft. Let's see if we can craft one more here just for a look uh let's go let's go let's go uh we'll, we'll just get rid of those two yeah hopefully i don't need them uh no i don't have enough because i'm holding on to these ones in case i need to build speed sets uh so i don't have enough but yeah you just dump stamina come and craft and that's all you do and i'm gonna do that until i'm pretty much got everyone on full uh lr gear uh, i'm pretty i'm getting close ish but i'm not quite there yet uh and once i've got everyone pretty close to full lr then i'll start shifting and i'll start crafting some accessories instead of crafting gear um and then that way i fill out some accessory slots once i get one to two pieces on every character because i don't want to craft accessories for too long in this early stage then that is where i'd shift and i'd start looking to doing some talents uh but before i do actually before i do talents what i would do is uh, Come on, don't don't give. I haven't even been in here yet. Obviously, don't give me tutorials. Don't give me tutorials, you prick. Come on, please, 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 please. No. All right, all right. There we go. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, the tutorials are so long in this game. Yes. Okay. Save. Uh, so once I've done that, the thing instead of talents, what what I would do first is I will go in and I will farm. If we go over here to here, uh, the what should we call it? This one here, city district. Uh, so I'll rank this one up to fit all the way up to fifteen. And then farm that for a bit to get all the upgrade stones so that I can go ahead and upgrade those LR gears that I got to 12, give myself the extra power, and then I'd probably look at doing the um, the talent seeds and getting those upgraded. But that's pretty much what I did. If you're a new account, that's what I would recommend doing. Uh, I will update you guys on my main account, go through a bit more of a guide style of thing uh, on progression and stuff like that. But I feel like that's a pretty good example if you're starting a new account and what to do. Follow the campaign, do the mage's path until you get the requirement for a level 90 character. Once you finish the campaign, farm bond to get your four characters up to level 10 on bond. Then you just go ahead and you just spam dungeons. Like I said, if you still can't do 13, 14, 15 on the dungeon, then you just go back to 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. You farm those, you get the extra drops. If you have to wait an extra day to get another round of these booster drops for URs, by the time you do two days of that, you should 100% be ready for it. Then just dump all your stamina into 15 here every excess thing you go ahead and you just uh feed it off to vanessa and try and get some more lr gear and away you go that is the process but like i said new accounts are pretty op so if you've made some mistakes you're not happy with your account feel like you got shafted you want to start again you may you want to reroll go nuts just note at the time of recording this i think we've only got like a day or so left on the season one banner or you can wait and wait till summer noel comes and then maybe you reroll for summer noel and charmy or something like that and then you're pretty much set to go from there um but like i said Ooh, six minutes till maintenance. Uh, like, like I said, they've only got a day left. So if you miss this, it's honestly not the end of the world, uh, especially if you're starting once Noel's out uh, and you can get that extra Charmy if you want to do it for rerolls. And it's, honestly, that Charmy is an easier reroll target than SR Charmy. I swear, the, the SR Charmy is an absolute nightmare to try and get. But anyway, guys, that's the new account. That's what we're looking at. If anyone wants to do it, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.